What is good, everybody? Welcome back to an all-new episode of Tatro Talks. Thank you for being here today. I am so excited to see folks are already joining in the waiting room because today is, of course, a call-in show. And I wanted to mix things up a little bit today. I know time sometimes we get into some like heavier topics. Not heavier, but like just more thinking topics, more philosophical things, you know? But today I just want to talk about, I think, a very fun topic to talk about. Maybe perhaps people's favorite topic to talk about. Gear. Just wanted to maybe take the conversation in the positive direction. Think about what what's some of the pieces of gear that changed your life as a music producer. And that what does change your life mean? That's a very dramatic thing. I, I think of it in two ways. Like a piece of gear that could have set me off on the path to production. Like getting that piece of gear like enabled me to do so many things. And then also maybe it's a piece of gear that's like you can't live without it like it lives on your desk like it makes your life so much easier you enjoy using it so much etc etc so if you want to call in and tell me about your favorite piece of gear a piece of gear that changed your life i would love for you to call in and talk about it i've pinned the zoom link to the top of the chat meaning that you can call in live and chat if you're shy or you've never done this before no worries i would first of all love to hear some new voices on today's chat so click that zoom link you get put into a waiting room. It's very easy. You just need to have the zoom map. I don't even know if you have to have the actual app, but you can do this on your phone or you can do it on a computer. You'll be put into a waiting room. When I bring you in, I will bring you in only on audio. So it's not like your video is going to be just broadcast to everybody. So no worries on that front. I do ask that if you call in when it's your turn to come in to the chat, make sure that your audio input device is ready and set up in Zoom and your speakers, your output device is ready, set up in Zoom. And then also make sure you mute the stream. You're going to hear me through Zoom. You're not going to hear me through the stream. It's on a little bit of a delay. So as long as you're ready for all that, would love to hear from you talking about gear. Um, and the waiting room is piling up. So if you want to get in, I would say get in as soon as possible but it's an exciting week before we get into the calls of course uh, i want to tell you all about exciting week that we're having first of all 343 tv is in full swing you know that we are brought to you by 343 labs every tuesday um it is a uh, basically six days a week of programming with some of the amazing instructors over from 343 labs which is an electronic music school uh, based in Berlin, New York, and online. So if you are interested in taking some courses, 343labs.com is the way to go. Tony T in the chat. We love to see it. Tony T, click that Zoom link. I'll bring you in first. Um, but yes, 343labs.com if you want to check out more of that. If you're just interested in the content, youtube.com slash 343labs is the place to be because we've got folks like... Um, uh, John Selway, Abe Duque. We've got two new instructors over on 343 TV, um, Icarus Moth, as well as Merrily, um, both very good instructors with new shows over there. So basically, if you want to tune in, learn something new about music production all week, that is the way to go. And uh, it's great. Hi, Kush. Uh, I should say hi to everybody in chat. Anthony, stop super chatting. No, thank you, though. I appreciate it but you didn't have to do that. You're in trouble. MV Beckham, what's good? Bishop91, Space Facts. Hello, hello. I know people had a lot to say in chat already. Um, I didn't catch it. My mom is in chat. My dad in chat. I saw somebody say hello, but I didn't see him. Um, Ed is here. Hello, Ed. I see you in the waiting room as well. Silent State. Ray Calvin, what is good, my friends? Anand, hello. Thank you for being here. Who else? Who else? I'm scrolling through. I always lose track of the chat. 343 Labs is in the chat, of course. Epilogue Music, Doomsware 303, White Whisker, hello. Um, Daniel is here. Of course, exaggerate. I'm sorry if I missed anybody's name. Jana White, but of course, we'll be chatting throughout the day. Kush is here. Hello, my friends. Um, yeah, click that Zoom link at the top if you want to get in the waiting room. We're going to take calls in just a minute here. Um, what was I going to say next? Oh, oh, Sarah's here as well. Hello, Sarah. Thanks for being here. I'm sorry. I, I feel like I miss people when I start. 
You're the man, Tony T. You're the man. Um, Beatober starts on Friday. I hope you all are ready. Uh, it's going to be a very exciting challenge. A month of making a one beat video each day. There's going to be lots of fun happening, including in our stream on Friday. Um, so don't forget that we are streaming on my channel Thursday and Friday this week. Friday, we're doing a big giveaway. Uh, we're giving away this custom Akai MPK mini custom design by yours truly. We're giving this away to a random person in the chat. It's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to get the wheel involved for those of you who have been waiting for wheel spins. Joseph McCaffrey coming up with all kinds of plans of ways we can use the wheel. But that's exciting. And then we'll also be announcing the auction for the second one of those in case you want to buy one. Of course, Beattober is all going in support of the Music and Youth Initiative. So if you buy some merch, proceeds from that will go to the Music and Youth Initiative. Like if you want to get a cool accessory pouch. Where all my other stuff go? Uh, some cool stickers. Definitely take advantage of that. Um, that's coming, but I want to see all your beats and stuff. I've got, if you go to my Instagram, on my highlights, I've got a Beattober highlight, which has like a template frame for you to like put your face in and say, I'm making 31 beats or I'm making five beats or I'm making 15, however many beats you're making. And you can post that on your story. Get the word out about Beattober. I know some people are already excited and, and getting the word out about it. So it helps. And it does help when you all share that you're doing Beatober because I want more people to get involved, A, and I want more people to come to the streams and be able to donate to the cause. So that's all coming together. If you all can donate once Friday comes along, uh, just get ready for that because that's going to be very well appreciated and we'll have a lot of great donation goals. Not to mention, there's going to be a lot of giveaways. Obviously, we're kicking things off with a giveaway, but all throughout the month, there's going to be giveaways. So if you want a new plugin, if you want some new hardware, uh, you should be tuning into the streams. And that's all I'll say about that. I can go on about Beattober forever. Tatro.com slash Beattober if you want more info or just follow me on Instagram. You know how it goes. <sighs> that was a lot of chit chat here at the beginning, but of course... We are here to talk about what pieces of gear change your life, and I'm excited to hear about it, and the waiting room is stacked up. I got this Nitro Cold Brew. Uh, it's, it was in a can, and it came from Whole Foods. It said it was made in Hawaii, and I'm usually not a huge fan of Nitro Cold Brew unless it comes like right off the tap. This delicious foam on top, it's not an ad, but it's great. I forget what the brand is called. But it's really, really good, but I'm sure it was expensive because I bought it at Whole Foods and I just bought a one-off can. Nonetheless, should we get into some calls? I think yes. Let's kill the background music. You know, it's been a while since we had Ed Oyama on the, on the line. And last time he called in, it was like a pure, sheer chaos. He sounded like he was going into the Matrix. So let's hope uh, it's a little bit better this time. We'll get Ed in here to talk about gear. Hey, Ed, what up? How's it going? Ed, you're can always you outside. I can hear you. How are you? Hold on. I can't hear you. Wait, what happened? We're off to a good start already. Oh, we no. love that. I can hear you, Ed. Hello? Hi, Ed. Hello? Hi, how are Hello? you? <laughs> the, the legend, Ed Oyama, everybody. Why is that happening right now? Let's see if we can no, get him connected. What do you think? No, no, no. It's almost like we need an Edoyama email for you all to spam. Sometimes. Oh, Slime Vibes is here. Hi, Slime Vibes. Yeah. I'm going to keep talking to everybody while Ed... Uh... It's the case. Hello? Can you Hi. hear me now? I can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? Uh, Ed, we're going to put you in the waiting room. I'm going to let you figure out the tech and we're going to jump to somebody else. But I have faith. Do we have faith in Ed chat? Do we? He's going to figure out his tech. He's going to be back on in no time. We're going to get Rashane up in here. And here we go. Hello. Hello, Rashane. How's it going? Nobody wants to hear me today. Oh, is it my fault? It's my fault. Hi, it's a, oh, I, it, it was my <laughs> fault, and I think it was my fault for Ed, too. Ed, I was roasting you, and I'm going to get you next, but I think it was my fault. Yikes. Rashane, thank you for calling in, nonetheless. <laughs> Thanks. 
Oh, I thought it was me for a second. I was like, oh, am I having the same problems as it? <laughs> oh, gosh. It's, you know, there's just a lot of audio devices in this studio. It's like uh, interfaces and and sound cards. It's like, I got to select the right. It's a whole mess, but it was my fault. Cool. <laughs> uh, tell me about your favorite gear, Shane. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I would say the one that's been the most life-changing was discovering... Um, so in addition to making beats, I write songs. And when I first started recording myself, it was rather inconsistent, the quality. It wasn't until taking the vocal production class at 343 Labs and oh. learning about mic preamps that my life was forever changed. That's amazing. <laughs> this is a perfect call. Do you want to talk a little bit about that class? Like who taught it? Like what? what's a couple of things that you learned? Like this is not a sponsored call, by the way. This is real. <laughs> yeah, it's not sponsored at all. This happens to be through 343 Labs. I, I learned of this. So uh, Justin teaches that, that class and nice. I took it last year. Uh, during the pandemic portion of our lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'd been recording myself maybe about like six months to a year prior to taking this class. And um, yeah, one of the first few classes he was teaching us about like hardware and like different types of mics. And then he got to preamps and he pretty much uh, stated my problem before I like brought it up of like, why are my recordings always kind of like hit and miss? Yeah. Um, as far as the quality and yeah and then once he like kind of went over like preamps and there's hardware ones and then there's um a virtual software ones as well i ended up investing in a, a hardware one uh just because like it fit my needs at the time uh and it's just been great ever since of like the quality is just better and now i feel like even the first few months of like um using it and then um discovering my voice was something I'm still doing, but it was much easier to do that once I had the right gear in place yeah. um, uh, and just learning about what a mic preamp was and how it could better give you a better audio signal from your microphone. And um, my setup is, is still the same, which was using a condenser mic, but I going through the Scarlett uh, interface, it's kind of the built in preamp on that is kind of wonky. So that's why I was getting like inconsistent uh, recordings with my setup. But I know people who have like, um, what is that popular sure mic, that dynamic yeah, mic? The like, SM57B. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, the one I'm using yeah. right now. Yeah, like that is fine. But since I was using a condenser setup, it's not the greatest with the, the Scarlet. So yeah. I invested in the preamp. <laughs> nice. What preamp did you get? Uh, the Focusrite ISA-1. I got it secondhand on Reverb. Cool. Great condition it came in. <laughs> nice. And that's like, what is the big, like, what's the difference for you in using the preamp versus just going direct into a, because I've talked to Justin before about uh, like Focusrite, like the interfaces, mm -hmm. the preamps in the interfaces. What's the game changer for like adding that preamp into the chain? Um, For me and, and like my voice, it, it brings out my voice more, especially like more the lows. I have more of a, like a lower register naturally where, sure. where I um, sing from. Uh, so it just adds a nice like harmonic and saturation to it um, that I wasn't, I, that I get best out of the hardware. I do now have um, yeah. some software virtual preamps, but I tend to when, at least when recording myself, stick to the hardware for it. Cause the, the sound I'm getting out of it, I, I love the best for my voice and, and the texture and, it, it comes in great. I don't really need to add too much. That's awesome. Um, like things after I still add effects, but there's a lot that I just get going straight in from that line. That yeah. I, I couldn't replicate through software. Yeah. And it's frustrating when you're like, especially when you're first starting out and like when you're using your voice, I feel like people like artists that use their voice, like it's one of the most vulnerable things and you're constantly trying to get yourself to sound good. And then you work on getting yourself to sound good, just like you in a room. And then capturing that is a whole nother beast because you're trying to mm -hmm. get, capture it. And it doesn't always translate to what it sounds like in the room. But it sounds like, you know, adding this preamp in in this case, like it, it just like unlocks. It like gives you confidence because you're like, yes, I can I can do this. I can record this and it will represent it will be it will represent me and my voice the way I want to represent. Like that's that's a perfect example of like life-changing gear you know like once you learn that once you get it like you're in and you can move on to the next thing keep making music 
Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah, there was times before taking this class, I was definitely frustrating me and like, maybe I'm going to stop the recordings because I was feeling like I sounded good, but wasn't able to capture it like you were saying. And uh, I, I feel like I probably would have given up the longer if I didn't take the course and find out like what I'm the right gear I needed um, to, to better uh, record myself at home. That's awesome here. And you didn't give up and you kept going and you pushed through and you found a solution and now you're rocking and rolling and the, the rest is history. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, you're doing Beatober, right, Rashane? Uh Yes, I am. I need to post about it. I'm aiming for the 31 days and I think just doing the, the social yep. uh, marker will help me be consistent to that right totally it's like a little bit of a accountability thing yeah. yeah awesome well i can't wait to see what you come up with and thank you for sharing that story about you know the class at 343 and also just about the preamp and how it, it kind of changed your thing thank you so much yeah no problem have a Later. good one always a good call from machine machine mentioned that class taught by justin over at 343 labs if you're curious about that i do recommend uh, you tune in to tomorrow's show on youtube.com slash 343 labs because Justin has a show every Wednesday and he's been comparing plugins. And I think tomorrow he's talking about EQ plugins. So if you want to get a taste of his teaching style or just get a little free class from Justin, go for it. And then maybe if you like his style, you'll want to take a class with him. It sounds like it was pretty transformative for Rashane, but uh, Shane, thank you for sharing that. All right, let's get Ed back in here. I feel so bad because it was all my issue, not Ed's issue. And here we are back again. Ed, how's it going? <laughs> oh, it wasn't. Oh, it was cool. totally me. You couldn't hear me because I had the wrong uh, audio input set for Zoom. But thank you for calling oh, in, Ed. I'm God, glad yeah. you could call in. I was saying you're always outside when you call in. You're always like out on an adventure. Yes, yes, yes. Um, life with three kids, a baby, two toddlers. Yes. What can I say? But you're still making the music thing happen. And I mean, your beat tape came out. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. And dude, thank. Okay, I can just say straight up favorite piece of gear, life changing launch key mini Mark three. I nice. got it because your videos, your tutorials were super instrumental in helping me getting it up and running. Cause like session view, having dials, having drum pads, like done a lot of stuff with it. That's awesome. And it's been crazy good. Nice. Yeah. I think it's like the workflow unlock. It just feels good when you're using a piece of gear that like feels like an extension of the software and then ultimately like an extension of you as the musician. Like you're just able to like get that tactile hands-on approach and it just makes the workflow better. Do you find that like when you locked in with that piece of gear and with live, like it's moved you forward in terms of like getting stuff out. Cause like I said, you just like put a whole release out. Oh, absolutely. Like I've been able to get a lot more consistent. So I bought like that. I don't know if you've seen it. You probably have, but maybe it's like the cheapest MIDI controller on Amazon. Like the Panda? I think it's, uh, MIDI Plus. MIDI oh, yeah. Plus. Yeah. yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. It yeah. Yeah. It's, it's surprisingly decent. And it wasn't life changing, though. I was like, okay, this is nice, but I can honestly play it on my computer keyboard. Sure. About as well as I could play on that. But then having the launch key, it's like, like you just said, it's like a total unlock. Yeah. Like, can the ideas come out a lot faster being able to switch to drum pads being able to mix at least eight channels like down the spot makes yeah. the mix go a lot faster i have a question for you because we are of course on the brink of beattober and you are uh -huh. a very busy family man so i would love mm -hmm. to hear from you about like in because i i'm hearing left and right from people like i can't do beattober because i do xyz because mm -hmm. i have this many because mm -hmm. i have 100 kids and i have 14 full-time <laughs> jobs so how Just do you that. and your busy life find time for music um for me one of the biggest unlocks was i use this app this plugin it's by a guy named curtis king it's called beat timer Mm -hmm. And it basically lets you do a 10 minute beat challenge every day. It's like Pomodoro or like yeah. a 10 minute timer just for your DAW. And um, I did that for a month, like earlier this year. And that really set me up for stuff with like ADSR and learning how to produce a track a week for the early ADSR comps and then sure. a track every two weeks for the later ADSR comps. Dude, 
life changing. It's like, oh, I don't have to like overthink. I could just go with the first idea and try to develop it into something and see what happens. And it might not be like perfect, but but like what yeah, is perfect? It, just because you spend I three hours on something doesn't mean it's gonna be perfect, you know? So like you're totally right. For real, for real. Oh, oh my gosh. And like that launch key unlock, like <laughs> So I got on Eldre's Twitch channel recently. Nice. Eldre, uh, and I actually got second place in a live beat battle on Twitch with the launch awesome. key because, man, that unlock, <laughs> it really does make it go a lot faster. I switched to drum pads. I switched to keys. But anyways, like, I think doing all those beat challenges really helped me to do ADSR and doing ADSR helped me realize I maybe, it'll take me maybe a few hours or like, I don't know, probably three to six on average to get a track to where I'm really, really happy and where I'd like, oh, this could go on Spotify or whatever. Yeah. But to make something I'm pleased with, I can get a beat going for like Beatober quality, I Instagram quality, I think. I yeah. can do that in 10, 15, honestly. But it does take a little bit of training to get there. So that's why I'm confident. Right. Yeah, I'm going to try to do all 31. I'm really going to try. That that would be so exciting. I mean, everything you said resonated so well because I think the first year that I did Beat Tober, like when I just was doing it on my own, that was like training basically. And it was similar to what you said about the timer. It was like, once you like unlock that you know, that ability that lim within that limitation, realizing what's possible and how it just helps you navigate through any like you don't have time to second guess you don't have time to agonize <laughs> over minor details you just keep moving so i think like learning that helps me work so much faster now on things that like i'm actually going to finish and things that i'm actually going to go ahead and like go oh, full on into so like, you're totally right shout out that plugin because that plugin's free right that timer it's just like a simple yes, timer it's totally free it's called beat timer and it even incentivizes it like gamifies it for you if you do a week straight of beats in 10 minutes it unlocks a sample pack <laughs> oh that's real that's a really cool idea curtis king he's yeah, like yeah. another content creator and he does really cool things so that's a very smart idea that's better than doing like another R rc20 plugin that everybody does i think that 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 he's got going there so people should check that out and ed thank you so much for telling us about that with the launch key and those time management tips that's perfect i can't wait to see what you come up with for beattober Oh, my pleasure. Thanks so much for like things like the audio effect track video. Too, oh, sure. That's like a speed hack. Exactly. Or having a good template. That's another speed hack. Like, yep. That's the only way to do it in 10 minutes, honestly. <laughs> to have it all set up for you. Totally right. Ed, yes, thank you so yes. much for calling in. All right. Good have a good day. Good to be on as always. Yes. Awesome. We got him. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Ed Oyama on the stream. Omrani um, says, hey, Tatro, I heart your videos. I'm buying tomorrow a MIDI keyboard. I'm still confused. What do I choose between the Arturia Mini uh, Launch Key Mark III and Oxygen Pro? Somebody somebody help Omrani um, 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 in the chat, please. Um, I would say out of those three, go with the Launch Key and use Ableton Live specifically. Uh, Kamikaze, I'm going to go jump into some more calls here because we got quite the full waiting room. Kamikaze Shot says, first piece of gear that changed my life was a MIDI keyboard, a Mac, and a digital sampler in 1984. Saw this setup and thus began my musical journey throughout my life. I mean, yeah, if you started in 1984 and it's 2021, I would say that's pretty life-changing because for decades you've been working on music, making stuff, all that stuff. Y'all are saying spin the wheel, but like, we're going to bring the wheel back on Friday. Wheel's going to come back on Friday in a big way. Just stay tuned. But yeah, let's keep going because I've got Silent State up next. Silent State. I can't recall if we've spoken on Zoom uh, yet. I know you're always in the chat and supporting. Uh, but I can't remember if we talk. Maybe when I hear your voice, I'll remember. Yes, the wheel will be back on Friday, folks. We'll be spinning the wheel. Hi, Silent State. How are you? Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm great. I'm excited for your call. I would love to hear your thoughts. Gear that changed your life. Uh, what are you thinking? Um, well, for me, it, it has to be um, Cakewalk by Band Lab. The door, the free door. Interesting. Tell me about that because... 
I remember in my early days, you know, you try like every DAW, like you try to get all these software, like you try to figure out which one. I definitely dabbled in Cakewalk at least uh, once or twice, but tell me about it. Because now they make make BandLab, which is awesome. But tell me all about Cakewalk and why it was life-changing for you. Um, Well, for me, I'm completely new to music production. I've only been into it four or five months. Um, But I I discovered Cakewalk... um, because it's free, um, I gave it a try, um, and it's it's triggered a whole new obsession in, with music for me. That's um, awesome. Yeah, it's I, every day on my my day is divided up between learning music theory, learning sort of my, the door and how to use the VSTs and the technical side of it. Nice. Do you have like a favorite aspect of Cakewalk that you like? Because I'm not too familiar. I'm not sure if people in the chat are. Um. Just the fact that it's completely unlimited. Um, it's full MIDI capabilities, full studio recording. It's it's everything you need in a door, and it's completely free. Yeah, that's. I think the free thing is huge because, you know, I mean, I use Ableton Live, which is one of the most expensive DAWs for sure, and I always try to point people in the direction of like as many inexpensive uh, resources or as many ways in at a lower cost possible. And sometimes when you're just starting, like you just want to make something that sounds good and you want to make something, you know, you don't want to break the bank because you're not even sure if you want to go head first into this. It's a big risk to spend a, a decent amount of money on this stuff. But I think the, the free thing, if you can lock in with something free, I mean, you're, you're a testament to that. It doesn't matter if you spend a ton of money on your DAW or you just use a free DAW, you can get making something and you can be like feeling good about what you're making too like um i wonder what are are there any like key resources you're using like whether it's youtube channels tutorials or like uh, if you're reading the manual like to walk you through like how to use cakewalk or are you just kind of on your own discovering things mostly um youtube tutorials and also just spending hours experimenting nice Um, i've got a lot of vsts a lot of free ones that on there um including vital Um, nice completely free synth so i've been spending the last week sort of intensively learning how to use it properly that's awesome yeah i've been i just tried vinyl for the first time a couple weeks ago and it sounds really good it's kind of that's a good model too like the fact that it's free but if you want to buy preset packs you can i think that that's really cool for sure that's it yeah question silence this is very important are you participating in beatober Yes, I am. I've been I've been following that closely. Um, so yes, I'm definitely going to be taking part. Amazing. Well, I can't wait yeah. to hear your, what you come up with. Um, definitely uh, keep us posted. You know, we'll be doing the streams every week, so I'll be looking forward to your posts with that hashtag. So looking forward to it, man. Thanks so much for calling in. Yeah, no worries. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Uh, you too. Thank you. Uh, yo, a lot of people say, a couple people say Koala, that's be jamming and Ayush saying Koala Sampler. I need to use more Koala Sampler. Accurate Beats is in the chat, says short answer, the OP1. Accurate, if you want to call in, I will, I'm not going to say favoritism, but I'll, I'll put you to the top. If you want to call in and talk about the OP1, I would love to chat with you about it. Um, because a lot of people talk about the OP1, but for now, let's get White Whisker in here. White Whisker. Does Koala work for Beatober? Of course, Ayush. Why would it not? I think I might even make a beat on Koala Sampler for Beatober. Who knows? Uh, White Whisker, make sure you set your audio input device. That's all it's waiting for. Just trying to connect. Um, Hope I don't get a call for any users while I'm waiting in line at Ayush. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Um... You're connecting White Whisker. I'll put you back in the waiting room in one in like 30 seconds if I can't figure it out. But we'll jump into somebody else and we'll give you a chance to set up the tech. But yeah. Oh, we're, we're coming in. We got visual. Now we just need audio. Um, oh, Omrani says, I got a license key for Ableton Live Lite that I didn't use yet. Use FL Studio is expensive or Lite is something else. Lite is just like a more limited version. If you can start with Lite, I think limitations and limited versions are good for beginners because you're not going to be unleashed with like the full breadth and library that's going to just confuse you anyway. So yeah, start with the Lite version. See if you like it. Oh, you're so close. You're so close, ZR. I'm going to hit ask to unmute and this is going to work. I know that this is going to work. 
I'm I'm here, man. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> You're in the library. I'm back back in the office, so I'm like uh, okay dealing with all that. So, but I'm here. Got it. Hey, what's up? Thanks for calling in. We could have a nice like chill calm chat because we don't want to disturb anybody in the office. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I kind of missed the first few people that were that had mentioned anything. So I don't know if anyone had chimed in with this yet. But um. So something that's really changed. Um, the way I go about making stuff or at least getting ideas out has been um, having a sequencer um, or sampler, I guess. Is there Um, one in particular? So specifically like everyone that like follows my pages or my channel knows I'm like crazy about the circuit tracks and now the, um, the circuit rhythm, um, the circuit rhythm with that, that Tetro uh, little jam preloaded on there. Oh yeah. 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 Thanks. Um, so I, I, like, I know obviously like this channel is focused around producing and in Ableton and like DAWs in general, yeah. um, which, uh, the sequencer, like having that kind of workflow, um, well, it can be used on its own has also helped with getting stuff cracking, um, and just getting stuff cranking out when I go to make things in a DAW. Um, because it just makes thing it makes it so simple and quick to get basic ideas totally. down and out and arrange them. Um, so like anyone who hasn't tried it out, like I know you're like thinking that it's not something related to working in Ableton, like you can't make full beats with it or whatever you might think. Like at its core, it's gonna help to get ideas down and out. And then it kind of takes a lot of the guesswork and like minute stuff out of it that can kind of hinder, I feel like, and kind of slow people down in the whole process. Totally. Um, So like, sure, you might be a little bit limited in your sound selection um, on your circuit or whatever sequencer you're using or sampler or whatever it might be, like whether it's from the the drums or the synths or whatever, but um, more importantly, like you can have the, basics of your song of your track of your beat whatever it might be and then um when it comes down to doing stuff in your DAW you just have to kind of maybe pick and choose the sounds a little bit better but you can at least get those ideas out and not be kind of crippled by having a thousand different synth plugins exactly like you reduce it to the simplest version of the idea it's like like a painter with a sketch pad like before a painter like takes to the canvas they might sketch out the composition of their track or their painting first you know um yeah so that's super smart are you using them together like are you pairing the two the the tracks and the rhythm um i actually just got the rhythm like this weekend oh cool Um, exciting i put out like a yeah yeah and i'm like super stoked on it because like i said like everyone who who knows like how I do my music stuff. Like I've been crazy about the tracks and yeah. making like um, drum and bass stuff on there, which like, nice. I like to fill that up with stuff to use for like performance things. But like I said, I like to use that to sketch out ideas um, for like tracks that I want to finish up in Ableton. Yeah. Um, so I would definitely like urge anyone who hasn't tried out a sequencer, even like try like the, the pocket operator knockout. Like it's a sampler yeah. sequencer thing has drums and stuff built into it. Um, just to have something mobile to take with you, like literally anywhere Yep. to be able to get ideas out. Um, it's like, super freeing. Uh, like that's when I first used the circuit, exactly. like the original circuit, like that was like, I was not, I'm not a hardware person in general, but like the thing that you right. mentioned about like Ableton workflow or whatever, like that's what always keeps me away from a lot of hardware stuff is just having to learn a whole world of workflow. But I think the the yeah. folks over at Novation with the circuits have done a really good job. Like it's almost like a transferable language when you're coming from Ableton Live to the yeah. circuits. Like things work very intuitively and almost in similar ways than they do in live, even though it's a piece of hardware that's like doesn't have a screen or anything. Like it's still very intuitive. Like I think that, that it's a great, like especially if somebody doesn't have any hardware, it's a great first place right. to start. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the tracks. Like I kind of came into like music production, like I had been in different bands and stuff like playing like hardcore, like punk and stuff like that until like the last like year or two, I started getting into like actual production keyboards, MIDI stuff and like synths and stuff. So when I first saw like the circuit tracks, like, like this thing has drums, synths, it's everything you need and can literally put it in like a small bag and just make music like wherever yeah, and get ideas out. 
Um, so yeah, like I said, I would urge anyone who hasn't tried out like a sequencer, um, or like, even there's like apps and stuff, they can do the same kind right. of thing. Yep, um, for like, sure. like Koala sample or whatever it is, like try something like that out just to even go about making beats and arranging stuff in a different way. Or at the bare minimum, like having something to capture ideas well when you're out and about and something like really hits that you need to get down. Yeah. Um, it's so a great way to just use your tech, the, the phone that you carry in your pocket. Like that is like... I used to struggle so hard yeah. with even getting my computer to run a DAW, but now I can like open up Koala Sampler on my phone. It's like, boom, like I'm making music on the go. It's awesome. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, I can't say like enough good stuff about the circuit tracks and the rhythm specifically, but like anything like that, um, whether it's like another groove box or just like I said, like one of the pocket operator, like the pocket operator KO, because you can put whatever sounds you want into that. Yep. Like right from your phone or whatever. Like try something like that out because it might seriously change or at least speed up your like composition idea sketching, or whatever. Might totally. Be like that. So like I said, I know it's not specifically like DAW related, but it can help with just speeding things up and getting new stuff done. Absolutely. Are we going to hear some circuit? Uh, tracks circuit rhythm jams from you for beat tober is my question definitely just so like nice. you said i have i have a couple of videos up already on my like most of my stuff on my channel right now is with the pocket operator but there's definitely some circuit tracks videos um some rhythm stuff um yeah i'm kind of like not everything that i'm going to put out for beat tober is going to be brand new but i'm going okay. to at least do 31 days of at least something going out Definitely. Heck yeah definitely going to be some circuit content. Yeah. <laughs> Love to hear it, man. Well, thank you so much. That's an important point. Like sequencer, little groove boxes, perfect uh, point. And I'm glad you're having fun with them and uh, can't wait to hear what you come up with for Beetober. Thanks so much, man. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you later. See you. Have a good one. My man, White Whisker in the office, taking a little break, says, everybody be quiet. I got to talk on the phone. I got to be on this call. That's dedication, taking time at work to get on the call. Thank you, White Whisker, for that. Kamikaze Shot says, yes, Techo, I am that old, but still learning as everything, hardware and software and even genres change through the years. Hey, I hope to be in this music thing. I hope to be making music for decades and decades, and that's going to mean that there's going to be people younger than me discovering tools that I won't quite um, uh, understand uh, tech that I need to keep up with. I, I aspire to that for sure. Um, check out that message from Nightbot talking about the giveaway that's coming up. Don't forget about that. That is on Friday's stream here on the channel. Oh, Shark, this is your first live stream. And I saw that you were in the waiting room. So if you do want to talk, just stay in the waiting room because I saw that you jumped out. But we have a couple more calls ahead of you. Um, one including MV Beckham, who we're going to bring on right now. We're just going to work through the calls in the order that they came in. But yes. Oh, uh, Luis Me Gill says, I, um, think it has been the machine micro for me. Very simple workflow. Yes. Nice. I love that. The machine micro is a great piece of hardware for sure. I wish they, I wish folks would make a push mini thank you white whisker appreciate it mv beckham i see you in the text chat let's get you uh let's get you talking in this regular chat you gotta set up your mic though i might jump to sean who's next in a moment um if we can't get the text set up if i've piqued anyone's interest on samplers this is from white whisker in the chat samplers sequencers Tatro and a bunch of other great YouTubers have fun content on them. Yes, I've got a few videos. Um, MV Beckham, I'm going to throw you in the waiting room. And we've got a few up next, but I'm going to bring in a uh, friend of the show, fellow content creator, Accurate. Accurate Beats is about to be on the line. I'm not sure if Accurate expected me to pull him in this quickly. But we'll see. Hello, Accurate. How's it going? Maybe. Maybe Accurate's here. Just check that bottom left corner with the mic and make sure the right mic is uh, selected for me. I messed this up already today and it's even my show, so I don't know how I can mess it up. But 
accurate let us know it's working now that's working now accurate thank you for calling in it's much appreciated my friend oh it was i could hear you yeah likewise man yeah Glad awesome to be here cool thank i am so stoked i know you were talking about the op1 in chat and you're all about like i know you use a lot of npcs and stuff too so i want to hear all about your takes on uh life-changing gear yeah well i mean sure i use machine and i use npcs and i use pretty much anything i can get a hold of but you know in this case i just need to mention the op1 because that's a big thing for me totally what is uh i have used it only a little bit and i know people talk very highly of it tell me about like what do you love about it i tried it i can't tell if i just needed more time with it or like what it was but tell me about it i mean to me uh, the entire sampling functionality of it is really cool you can chop up samples pretty much like you do on the mpc or whatever yep but the big thing for me is that the synthesizers in the OP1 is different in a cool way. Everything doesn't really make sense, you know? We like that. We like when things don't make sense because it helps our brains think in different ways. Right. Um, can you tell, what is it like, do you think OP1 is like your favorite gear right now? Is there like a, a new piece of gear that you think is like working its way into your workflow? Like anything new that we need to keep be keeping up on? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, I'm still under an embargo of a thing that's going to ah. be really cool that I can't talk about, but it's going to be really cool. Nice. We we love being under embargo, don't we? It's just like so frustrating. You like want to talk about things and say things, and you just can't. But I guess we'll leave the audience hanging. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and sure. shrouded in mystery but accurate thank you for calling yeah, with in. that one for sure yeah <laughs> thank you for calling into the show joseph uh, my mod is going to spam your channel and chat because i think everybody should go subscribe do you want to just give a shout yourself tell people where they can find you and what they should check out well i guess i am one of those youtuber kind of persons so yep. just look for accurate beats on youtube and you're going to be able to find my stuff Amazing. Thank you so much, man. I hope we can talk again soon. Thank you, man. Have a good one. Accurate has a great channel. Check out his channel. That Joseph McCaffrey is going to spam any second now in chat, I'm sure. There it is. There it is. Um, Sean, let's get you in here. Sean, hi, how's it going? Sean is here. Hello, can Sean hear me is the question. Yeah. Oh. I can hear you, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Perfect, so uh, I have uh, my, my like game changer, at least because I'm just starting music production was really learning a, a creative workflow for music um i i took i'm not trying to shill but i took a class with this guy mike monday i think i got some instagram ad about it about finishing finishing music which right. i was always struggling with yeah took his took his court and he just like really helped me understand um the steps i needed to take with with uh music because it was like oh i was learning ableton i was learning the tools, but I still didn't quite have like a great workflow with it. It's and a one, huge hurdle. It's so easy to learn like techniques and technical stuff. I'm not gonna say it's easy, but a harder thing to learn is like the actual, like now, now make something, okay? Like now make something, finish something, put it out. Like that's a very hard aspect to learn, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and so much of my time that I've been spending has been in that like hey get, getting myself in the mindset and place and organize my life around the idea of like hey i'm just gonna finish this music and also i'm not really gonna judge it i'm just gonna like say this is done and move on and take the learning and move on to the next song so that's um been very that's been very much a game changer for me not just for music production but i think life too in general but yeah you move forward and like have sense of an answer exactly do the best thing you can in that moment and then on to the next thing the next thing you do will be even better yep 
And even if something's not perfect, oh, okay, the sample is off by one measure. Um, okay, instead of spending like 10 minutes getting that sample to line up or fussing around with some settings, because I, you know, that's part of the workflow I still haven't gotten to yet. It's like, all right, well, that's just going to be what it is. And I'm just going to use it yeah. um, as, as it is. Um, so that, I would say that's game changer for me. Um, I have two other questions. One, sure. Quick ones. I'd love to know more about Beattober, what it is. And two, uh, um, where's the chat people keep talking about? I'm on YouTube and I don't see the chat, but I'd sure. love to see where people Oh, are, are you watching over on the 343 Labs channel? Yeah. Yes. So we broadcast this show on both my channel and the 343 Labs channel. Hey, so okay, got it. You can, okay, you so can, it sometimes it mixes the chat, but sometimes it doesn't. Like it's supposed to with Restream, but Restream never, uh, um, works that well but so that's if you want to join in the fun i think most people are chatting over on uh, my channel but Tatro, got it nonetheless thank you for watching over on the 343 labs channel because there's lots of cool streams over there um and you ask about btober and i'm so glad you asked about btober to give me another chance to talk about it very simple it's a challenge where we are all making one small short beat video per day in the month of october um, so each day putting out a beat using the hashtag beattober, putting this up on Instagram. Now that's like the challenge portion. That's like for all of us to participate. But what's also going to be happening is I'm going to be doing live streams every week, uh, including uh, Tuesday, Thursdays and Saturdays. On Thursdays, I'll be making music. Um, and then on Saturdays, I'll be checking out everybody who's been making beat videos. I'll be surfing that beach to beat tober hashtag um, on Instagram, reviewing people's music. And also, we're doing giveaways throughout the whole week too. So if you're participating and you want to win cool stuff and you just want to push yourself, like I, th I think a lot of what you talked about aligns so perfectly with beat tober like just getting stuff finishing it putting it out moving it on to the next thing this is kind of like an accelerated version of that because it's every day and there's a video component which i think is really important the most important part of beat tober though is that it is for a cause so we're coming together as a community to support an amazing nonprofit called the music and youth initiative so all of like we've got exclusive beat tober limited merch that's out um, and we've also, there will be a sample pack that comes out. All my membership revenue will be going to the, to the nonprofit. There'll be donate buttons on the video. We'll have donation goals, all that good stuff. So it's a big challenge for producers to get better, make music every single day in the month of October. And it's for a good cause. That's pretty much the elevator pitch. That was a long elevator ride though. Thank you for explaining all that. So it's on Instagram with the hashtag Beattober. That's I'll be right. Posting, I'll join under my... Uh, named bug tank so awesome thanks for explaining that yeah All right. i'll be looking forward to it and if you want more info tatro.com slash beattober or if you go to my instagram you'll find a beattober um highlight on my page you can click on that and find some cool stuff thanks tatro thank you thank you so much have a good one perfect uh first call um i love that we're talking about like the chat and people could be over in the other chat and be like what's happening who's he talking about that Beatober link is getting spammed in the chat as we speak, folks. And I, when you go to that Beatober highlight on my Instagram, there's wallpapers too. So like that cool watercolor uh, print that I designed, you can get that as a desktop wallpaper. And um, also like there's cool, the, the control freaks right here. Controlfreakclub.com, by the way, is where all that merch is at. Let's see if we can get MV Beckham back here. And then we've got uh, our friend james on deck we get mv beckham in here with the correct audio device we'll get it going but i know mv beckham was potentially uh um working as the show was happening so it may not be possible um hey teacher you should explain why beatober excites you so much I could explain it all day. It excites me because it's for a good cause. That is the main thing that is exciting to me this year coming together as a community. I really hope we can hit like our donation goals and make a big impact as a community. And it, it excites me a lot too, because when I first started doing Beatober, I just got to be so much better at music production. And I would love for everybody to, I just like events, you know, when something is happening and everybody's doing the same thing at the same time, this is just like a little community event for us. And it's not like a holiday. It's not tied to like a religion. It's not like exclusionary. It's like super inclusive. Like if you're a beginner, 
make the best beats that you can every single day, short beats, all that stuff. If you're super advanced, amazing. If you're, uh, if you've got the music production thing down and you want to put most of your efforts into like making the video editing and the, all that cool do that. Like it's just an opportunity for everybody to participate, support a good cause. It's like a fest says Ayush. Yes. And maybe one day we'll do like a, a beat tober event, you know, like when it becomes safe, when everybody can travel again, um, and it's not as complicated as it is now, that sort of thing. MV Beckham, I'm trying my hardest sketch in here, but it doesn't seem like it's working out. So we're going to move on and get James up in here. James, a.k.a. Wislow, how's it going? Hey, what's up, Lemmy? Oh, that's Pause me the in the stream. background, I hear. There we go. All right, thank you for calling in. What, what do you want to talk about? What gear changed your life? Yeah, how's it going? Um, I guess I'll go with the the big one. Um, I'd say Ableton Live. That's a that's um, a good call. Like I think we're overlooking. I think I would have to say that's a same for me. Yeah. Um, so like um, I'm old time Ableton Live. Like um, Ableton Live five or six. Um, I had a band and we we didn't have much money. Um, so, you know, we couldn't have like a synth set up and a sampler and you know what I'm saying? Of so, course. So, you know, we kind of got all that together and we were able to do like kind of a Radiohead thing. But, you know, all we had was just like our amps and a laptop. And a laptop, exactly. Yeah. It's an amazing so, thing. Yeah, that, like you can emulate so much in live that previously, decades ago, you would have had to have thousands of dollars of hardware for yeah, for sure, man. And it, and it's so much better now than it used to be. Like, um, Wild Eleven's crazy. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, crazy talking to you, man. See you on TV all the time, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's great talking to you, too, because I'm so used to hearing your tracks. Um, and, you know, thank you for being so active in the community and being such a great support of the channel. Do you think, are you going to be participating in uh, Beattober? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do it kind of big. Um, I'm going to do 15 or more beats, but I was also going to try to live stream the um, beat making oh. on YouTube while I was doing them and then kind of do like a one minute video outside the house or something or yeah. with the gear or that's you know, super ambitious. Like that. I think that's cool. And like I, I was just saying, like people should push themselves to do like more, whatever they're comfortable with, etc. As you do that, though, don't let it become a barrier. So if maybe if you want to make 15 or more beats, which I think that's a perfect way to phrase it, 15 being like the floor or more, leaving it open for more. Um, if the live streaming thing becomes a barrier, don't let it stop you. You know, maybe you only live stream, you know, half as much as you're expecting to. But cool. any anything above zero is a, a, an amazing like feat, you know, like it's a good effort. So like just be conscious of that throughout the process. Push yourself, but don't get defeated if, you know, the process needs to shift throughout the month. I think that's the most important thing for people to know. Gotcha. Um, sounds good. I think that's really good advice um, because sometimes I will get a little over ambitious. That's why I didn't say 30. Yeah. I was afraid that, you know. And it's, a, it's totally okay to do that too because – you set a, it sounds like you set what you think is like a highly achievable goal. Like, you know, that you can do 15, anything on top of that will be like icing on the cake. You'll feel really good if you can do more than that, which is great. But for me too, like I'm so used to going the full nine yards and like setting up two cameras and changing the camera positions between each part and then editing it as a multicam clip and like going full out with that. But a lot of my beats for Beatober are honestly going to be shot on my phone. Like I'm just going to go super simple. I'm, I'm not finding that there's a huge return for doing the whole production every single time. So that's how I'm making it achievable for me. And I highly recommend that everybody whatever you're doing, like whatever part of beat Tober, like is going to be most difficult for you, make it achievable. Like, like, like I said, like make it something that works for you. It's not meant to like make people miserable. It's meant so that you find a workflow and a thing that works for you. And maybe you start streaming James and you're like, damn, this streaming thing is awesome. I want to do it like all the time. And then beyond beat Tober, you keep streaming and maybe that's good for you and your music, you know, like whatever it is, I think it's all good. Huh. 
appreciate it a lot, man. Um, everybody listen to Tetro. He sees numbers, you know, like um, he, he, he knows what he's talking about, guys. Um, I'm going to keep that phone thing in mind, man. For sure. Yeah. Like, like find, I said this on a, on a previous stream, but find the rules you're making for yourself that are making things harder for you and break them. Nobody told me that I have to shoot everything with two highly professional cameras in 4K. That's just a rule that I made for myself at some point. And when I started breaking that rule, I actually started seeing amazing results and I was a lot happier. So that's just a bit of advice. Thanks, man. Good talking to you, Tetra. Good talking to you as well, man. Can't wait to hear your uh, next track. Rad. I guess I'll go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good one, my friend. See ya. See ya. Oh, interesting. We've got another MV Beckham in the house. Let's see if this MV Beckham wants to chat. I think that's interesting. We'll see. It doesn't seem like this MV Beckham wants to chat either. I'll bring both MV Beckhams in. Oh, I can see you, but I cannot hear you yet. Just got to make sure you select an audio device. Bottom left, usually, there's like a microphone icon. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Um, White Whisker says, "Could you do a little compilation video of your favorite um, slash best Beatober videos when the month is up?" Could possibly do that, but White Whisker, don't forget that we're going to be every week like selecting. Oh, okay, Beckham, I can I'm hear here. you now. I can hear you now too. Thank you so much for calling in, my friend. Maybe you can hear me. I can hear you. Now you can't hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. It's oh, just, perfect. Is, is that better? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. All right. How's it going? It's going great. I'm so glad we were able to connect. Um, you should say hi to everybody in chat because I'm, I'm sure everybody Hello, in chat everybody. knows hi, you. Mom and Pop Tatro. <laughs> hi, everybody. Um, thanks for calling in, man. What did you want to chat about? You want to talk about your favorite piece of gear? Uh, my well, I would have to say my favorite piece of gear is probably my voice. Oh, uh, outside of that, I think I lost. He said his favorite piece of gear is his voice, and then we lost the audio. What happened? We might have lost connection. That's ironic. I'll I'll give it a minute. See if we catch back up. Shout out to MV Beckham in the chat though, because MV Beckham is always. Hanging out, having a good time. I'm going to hit ask to unmute, and I bet he's going to be back on. Let's see. I don't know if it's working. Um, But yeah, White Whisker, we're doing like every Saturday, I'm going to re be reviewing folks' tracks. Maybe I will do a little compilation of things that I really like, some standouts, you know? Um, Mohammed. Doomswear, Bishop91, hello everybody. Um, Yarnverse is probably a competitor to Yarn Chic, if I have to say so myself. Discovering natural wool slippers were a real game changer for me. He loved to hear it. Jonas, yellow, nice to see you. Cal Berge says, I don't have any gear right now. I use FL Studio trial version in laptop. Is there a DAW which is free in Ableton? Well, Ableton Live is a DAW. But there is a 90-day free trial, and I'm pretty sure there's a free light version. Well, Envy Beckham, we'll hope to get you in next time. I think you were going to say something cool about, uh, you know, your voice being your favorite piece of gear, which I think is an amazing thing um, because you carry it with you all the time. Uh, it's similar to, like, an instrumentalist, except an instrumentalist needs the piano, needs the guitar, needs the whatever. But when your instrument is internal... It's really amazing. So we're going to wrap this up for today, but MV Beckham, we'll get you on the next one for sure. Um, but hey, folks, this was a great show. I loved chatting all about your favorite pieces of gear. White Whisker says, if you can hum it, you can play it. Exactly. LA Winter says, my favorite piece of gear is this new free VST instrument called Samp Lab that turns your loops into instruments and extracts the MIDI from them. Cool. Um, Tyro White, hello. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Um, thanks, folks. Hey, make sure before, well, when you leave this stream, just go to youtube.com slash 343labs and give a sub. We're trying to get to 20K subs by the end of the year, and I think we're on track, but I would love a little boost from uh, the friends in my chat. It would be very helpful. 
And I want to say thank you to um, all the folks who are excited about Beatober and excited to tune in. Uh, Karina. Hello. Nice to see you, Karina. Karina, I wonder if you're making beats for Beatober as well. Jonah says, really like your videos. Thank you. Silent State, I saw that nice thing you said. Thank you so much for saying that. I appreciate it. Um, I was going to respond to something here. I forget what it was. Yeah, but it's going to be a good time, Beatober. This is a very busy week. I put up a video today, so if you didn't watch it, uh, head to the channel. Go give that a watch. Justin Beck is on deck for tomorrow's stream on the 343 Labs channel. He'll be comparing EQ plugins. No whip gang. And I'll be back on Thursday live here on my channel. And uh, it's a sponsored stream. So please make sure to show up and check out the cool new plugin that I'm going to be showing you on stream. Cool for all you lo-fi chill uh, musicians out there. Probably we have a beat. I'll have a beat video up tomorrow or something. But stay tuned because Beattober is on the way. Tatro.com slash Beattober if you want to get involved. Just get ready to post beat videos in the month of October using that hashtag Beattober. Big giveaway starting on Friday, but then all throughout the month of October. I can't stress this enough. There is going to be so many giveaways. Like we were, we were trying to build the calendar and figure out when we could possibly do all these giveaways. It's crazy. But yes. Why did my music end? Oh, because I turned my headphones off. It didn't end. Um, I always love listening to everyone talk. Alejandro, good to hear. I'm glad people like the call-in shows. Um, Mr. G. Smith says, Beat Tober. Karina says, I will. That's what I like to hear. All right, my friends. That's going to be it. I don't want to drag things on too long. Uh, Arb, Arb, you're just going to get banned in chat because you keep just like promoting stuff that nobody knows about. So, sorry about that. Peace and love. Um, Everybody... I'll see you all on a future stream. Tune into Justin's stream tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you all. Ah, uh, Beatober. I, what can I say? The counselor says fire. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Envy Beckham, you'll get it by the next call, and it was working well. Just do a, a test next time uh, before if you want to just be sure. But we'll we'll give it another shot next time. No worries. You know we're always here. All right, folks. Um, quick update. I'm loving my new iPad mini. I'm using it as a second. Well, I'm not using it as a second screen right now, but I have been, and it works really well. as like a second monitor. Um, and I also got the new iPhone. Uh, it just got delivered. This is not it. But I'm going to be going to... Um, I'm probably going to shoot a lot of my uh, Beatober vids on the new iPhone, if I'm being honest. I want to take full advantage of like making stuff on my phone. I want to simplify my process. So that's what I'm thinking about going into Beatober. Stay tuned because a lot of brands were very gracious with their giveaways and I can't wait to hook you all up. By the way, if you're not a member of the channel, hit the join button because you can get the Haze pack right now. If you hit the join button, you will get the Haze sample pack. As soon as you become a member, you go to the community tab, you scroll down until you find that haze link. You download that. Then on October 1st, that haze link will no longer work, but the new pack ritual, you will have a link to download that for free if you're a VIP member. So just saying, it's the perfect time to become a member because you're basically going to get two packs for the price of one. Um, MV Beckham says, what's the link for 343 Labs? Joseph McCaffrey is going to spam that right now as our outro screen goes up. And thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like on your way out. You're going to, here's what you're going to do. You're going to hit like on this stream. Then you're going to click the link that gets spammed for the 343 Labs show. And you're going to hit subscribe over there. And then you're going to have a great rest of your day. That's going to be it. This has been Tejo with 343 Labs. Have a good one.